to another episode of the Hardtail Diaries. I thought, thought well, it's a rainy day today, so let's have a good look at uh, what we're running for the Hardtail Diaries, what bike we're running. Some of you might have seen it and heard about it throughout the, the course of the show, um, but it's essentially what we're running is a Commissar Meta 29, uh, sorry, Meta Hardtail AM, it's a Meta AM Hardtail, um, 2021 frame um, in a size large. Yep. Um, at the moment, we've got it in full 27.5 mode, um, however, have been running in 29 and also in mullet mode. It works really well in all of those modes. Climbs uh, less easily um, in mullet mode, obviously because it uh, becomes a bit slacker, seat, seat angle becomes a, a, a bit slacker as well. Um, whereas when we're in full 27.5 and full 29 mode, uh, then the geometry it's designed for works really, really well. Okay, what I found um, is initially I was running in mullet mode for maybe a month or two. It was fantastic, great fun bike, turned on a dial just like a 27.5 does normally and carved really, really well. Um, we moved then to 29er, full 29er. I ran it in full 29er for another month or so um, before I started tearing up some rims um, and then went back to 27.5 here now. In 29er mode, I did find it, um, it, it felt like a really big bike and it felt really tall on it, um, which most 29ers, you're gonna feel like that, aren't you? Um, but when we convert it back to 27.5, it becomes a very, very playful bike and a load of fun. Um, in fact, so far, it's my favorite um, configuration so far as the 27.5, just full 27.5. Um, I'm used to 27.5, however, my other bike I'm running at the moment is the Commissar Meta AM29 full suspension, um, and that, that's full 29, um, and that's more of a race bike. So this one's the fun training bike. Um, Let's see what a hardtail could do sort of business. Anyway, moving on. So um, we've got MSS, MSC grippers front and rear. Um, unfortunately, there's a Maxxis tire on here at the moment. Um, that's just because I'm waiting for some more MSC tires to come through. Um, but yeah, great tires, roll really well, roll really quick, um, and, and, and have loads of grip. I found them really, really good for like the Queensland conditions, which is really cool. Uh, SRAM drivetrain, I'm a big fan of SRAM. When it comes to drivetrain and suspension, so um, we have a full GX drivetrain here, um, running 12 speed, uh, 10 to 50 rear um, cassette there, um, with the GX cassette as well. Um, on the front here, we have a 32 tooth uh, SRAM chainring, which will be getting changed over shortly to an absolute black uh, oval chainring, and we'll probably go 32 as well. Um, maybe even 34, um, but I'm not racing this bike and I'm not taking up big jumps, so I'm probably not going to need a 34. Um, anyway, so that, that that's a really cool setup, I really enjoy that. Uh, running clips on here at the moment, these are the Time um, MX-5s. Yep, um, they're great, great clip, clipless pedals with the uh, attack um, locking device, which is really easy to get in and out. Um, a lot of the time I run flats, uh, on my other bike I'm running flats, um, however, I am enjoying the clips on these as well. So I'll kind of run both. Um, we'll probably end up with some flats on here at some stage and clips and flats and clips and flats, but it's always good to have a bit of a, a, a mix. The good thing is that being a hard tail with no rear suspension, when you're getting bounced around, you're still clipped in, which is good. All right, so 27.5. Um, we've got uh, a um, E13 TRS front wheel uh, we did have an e13 trs rear wheel which unfortunately i've destructed the rim so i've got to replace that unfortunately but uh, i had a spare carbon uh 27 rim um, floating around which is essentially on a, a dt swiss uh 350s hub um, which is really really good push core in the rear um which i'm hoping will stop me destroying wheels on this thing so far i've gone through two or three wheels three wheels three wheels yeah. well three rims essentially um so if we whack some cush cool back in there hopefully it'll stop me destroying the, rim, the rims um because previously the last few years i haven't really been destroying many rims at all um and then I get on this go hard on this and i'm taking out rims left right and center all right uh normal bottle cage we've got a ks uh eye rage or rage eye dropper here um, which uh, is quite reasonable. It's 190 millimeters of drop. Um, there's a fabric uh, seat on the top there. Um, however, not the biggest fan of the fabric seat, but hey, that's what we went for. We'll probably change it out when it gets worn out. 
Um, the KS drop is good though. Um, I've paired it up with a bike yoke um, Southpaw remote up the top there, and we've got Magura um, stocking devices front and rear. Um, so yeah, essentially we've got the, the twin piston on the front, and uh, sorry, four piston on the front, two piston on the rear. That'll probably get upgraded to a four piston on the rear. Um, yeah, I'm just not finding enough stopping power um, when I'm getting on some steeper stuff, which is what I'm planning on doing with this bike, is getting a little rowdy, getting a little rowdy on a hardtail and seeing how far the hardtail can go. So, so far, I've found it's a pretty, pretty capable bike and I can ride some pretty gnarly stuff on it, um, which has surprised me as well. Uh, I'm taking out a few ribbons left, front and center, but so far so good. Uh, we're gonna head to a few downhill tracks soon uh, on this thing, since the weather clears up and as soon as uh, life permits, really. Um, so, got the four pistons on the front, you got a 200 rotor, uh, and then on the rear, we've got a 180 rotor. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably keep the 180 rotor on there, but I'll probably go four, four piston, yeah. Um, which is good, internally routed, it's really, really good bike. Um, I've got a builder joystick uh, bar on here, 780 wide. It's a 25 riser, um, and I've got a short 35 millimeter stem as well, um, which uh, I'm a big fan of short stems. But other than that, that's the bike, great bike. Um, actually surprised at how, how fun it really is. And, and as a trail bike, it's an amazing bike. I've got a few PBs on this um, that previously on my 27.5 Rain, um, I held PB to a certain point and then take the hardtail out there and I've smashed it. So what does that say about suspension? I don't know, what about to say about outdated geometry more than anything. Uh, it's a 2017 Rain, however, 2014 mold, so really outdated. 2021 frame here. Um, the geometry is great. It's playful. It's fun. It's capable. And um, yeah, let's take it out. Get rowdy with it in the next few weeks, next few months. Continue with the hardtail drives. Pop a uh, comment down below if you want me to try something else on the hardtail drives with it. If you want me to ride somewhere with it. If you want to want to know some more about it, um, just pop something in the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, big thanks to Six Seven Factory Racing. MSC tires, Absolute Black, um, and Brakes Wide Open, of course. So, anyway, see you next time.